there's a word about our sponsors. So regarding housekeeping, first, this webinar is eligible for one CPE credit. To earn, you must answer three of the four polling questions and stay on the webinar for 50 minutes. Your certificate will be e emailed post-webinar in seven days or less. Next, we'll have Q&A, so please use your GoToWebinar control panel to ask our experts questions. And again, as mentioned, we will have four polling questions for the polls. Also use your GoToWebinar control panel. Finally, you'll receive a link to this webcast via email in the next 24 hours, so no need to take copious notes or screenshots. So now a word about our partner and sponsor, Blackline. Blackline is listed on the NASDAQ as BL. They provide solutions for financial close management, AR automation, and intercompany accounting, helping large enterprises and mid-sized companies across all industries do accounting work better, faster, and with more control. Learn more at blackline.com. So with that, allow me to introduce our expert presenters. Molly Boyle is Director of Solutions Marketing at Blackline, and Michael Schultz is Director of Strategic Accounting at Blackline. With that, I'll turn it over to Molly. Welcome. Thanks, Neil. I think Michael's actually gonna kick us off in just a few minutes here, but we'll start with some more informal introductions um, before we do that. So Michael and I can just each say, hello and tell you a little bit about ourselves. Um, so thanks so much for having us. We're really excited to be here today. My name is Molly Boyle, as you said. I have been with Blackline now for about four years and my role here it involves a number of different activities, but the most important and I think for me, the most enjoyable of which is really working with our customers, helping them sort of evaluate their technology landscape, their current processes and figure out um, the top use cases and, and sort of most ripe areas for automation. I worked in accounting and finance my whole career before coming to Blackline and uh, myself had a chance to go through a number of different transformation projects, including a Blackline implementation and um, an ERP implementation as well. So I'm always excited to bring not just my Blackline and transformation knowledge to these types of events, but also just my own firsthand experience working in the field. So really excited to be here today um, and excited to be here with Michael. So I'll let him introduce himself and we'll jump into our content. Thanks, Molly. Uh, Michael Schultz, Director of Strategic Accounting at Blackline. Uh, similar to Molly, I've uh, spent my career in different finance and accounting roles. Uh, I've been with Blackline uh, almost six years, probably just another couple of days till I hit my six years. So uh, pretty excited about that. And before that, I did, uh, I was, again, very similar background to Molly, uh, was a Blackline customer, implemented Blackline back in 2010, uh, and just kind of really enjoy working with our customers. Uh, and those of you who are not our customers, just to really see you know, what that value is in finance and accounting automation and how, you know, there is a world outside of spreadsheets. So uh, definitely excited to, you know, to talk to you today and, and to be here. Um, so with that, let's kind of just get, jump into the agenda. You know, what are we going to cover today? What, what, are we, what do we have going on? And, you know, we've got a lot of content to cover, um, but hopefully we do, you know, as Neil mentioned, we do uh, hope to have time at the end for some Q&A. Uh, we're going to talk about the idea of the, the impact of disruption on accounting uh, and, you know, what, what that meant. And I know most of us lived through it, um, but again, you know, what, what, are, what are the lasting impacts of, of this last 18 months of disruption? Um, you know, how, how, what is the evolution of the controller? Um, I know Molly will go into that in, in some greater detail. I mean, I know personally just what, you know, in my 20-year career, I've seen, you know, the, the role of controller and CFO uh, changed drastically from, from what it was back in the late 90s. I'm uh, going to talk about, you know, champions and, and how, you know, they can advance accounting. I'm going to talk about some leading practices for modernizing uh, your processes and, and what, uh, you know, basically the idea of, you know, getting out of Excel and what, what that technology can do, how that technology works. Uh, of course, it's just going to be a, a scratching the surface of everything. Uh, but hopefully it gives you a, a good idea of, of what the Blackline solution can do uh, through automation. Uh, and then finally, we'll wrap it up uh, with some success stories talking about you know, what, what our customers have done, uh, what our customers have been able to achieve, 
uh, and then final thoughts and some Q&A. So, you know, just diving into the content, you know, the, the last 18 months, we've definitely had a lot going on. And it's really highlighted the idea that, um, you know, we need to accelerate change. We need to uh, do something different because the way accounting and finance have, have been operating for however many years uh, just really isn't sustainable. Uh, I, know, I know back in my auditing days, you know, we had the phrase Sally, same as last year. Uh, so we kind of just did, you know, what was always done, right? You know, somebody did, you know, this in the checklist. Well, we're going to do it the same way again this year. Um, and clearly that, you know, can't continue. Uh, and, you know, we've learned one thing, you know, through all this last 18 months of disruption, you know, that's definitely something that, you know, has been highlighted that we need to accelerate change. We need to do something different um, with, with the way we're doing things. And, you know, when I think back to, you know, the early part of, of this 18 months, and it's probably, I've been saying 18 months probably for a while now, uh, if I do the math, it's probably more like 20, 22 months. But anyway, back back in April of 22, actually April of 20, excuse me, uh, trying to get ahead of myself, look too much to the future. Uh, but back in April, we we took a survey on a couple of our webinars and we we highlighted what those responses were. And you know what what accounting leaders said back in April of 2020, we had over 2,000 responses. And the question was, what is the biggest challenge facing you and your accounting?